Hi everyone, my name is Jess. I am so honored to be representing our class today. The COVID class, winter 2020. We finally did it, all 25 of us. We are prep MD graduates. We are contenders, badasses, and wow, what an interesting journey it's been. None of us could have predicted that our prep days would happen the way that they did. We quit our jobs, we packed up our lives, and we headed east to pursue a brand new career to take on something so challenging that we knew would have huge rewards if we could make it through. We made it through the interviews and through those first few weeks online and through that horrible GPA cutoff, and we finally made it to campus. We grabbed Fogros, some number two pencils, our calipers, and we headed to class for exactly 10 days. Then the unthinkable happened, grounded. Not for the weekend or for a couple of weeks, grounded for good. No more lab, no more programmers, no more good mornings from Ella, no more raiding the snack cabinet, no more of Dimitri's incredible ties. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it, it was a devastating loss. But as the saying goes, tough times make tough people. We realized quickly that trying to do something this challenging alone just wasn't going to happen. Most of us were strangers in a new city with nothing to do but school and nothing to stare at but the walls of our short-term leased apartments. We knew that loneliness wasn't sustainable, so we pursued prep friendships in any way that we could. We slacked, we group chatted, and we tried our best to create connections despite social distancing. We bonded over Tiger King and how badly we needed haircuts. We lamented Boston clam chowder restaurants and going to gyms. My roommate Lindsay and I turned our living room into a yoga studio. We all did what it took to maintain some sort of social connection and make prep memories, knowing that our prep days would be gone in a flash. Prep was undoubtedly the toughest education program that I have ever been through. I'm not sure if one student would disagree with that. I have so much overwhelming pride in myself and in my classmates for making it through. I am so proud, so excited, and sitting here so full of hope for the future. I want to say thank you so much to the staff for supporting us through these unprecedented times. Thank you for finding a way to keep PrepMD going and to set us up for success. I'd like to say thank you to Matt O'Neill for being so open about what was going on with COVID and with PrEP and for being there for us when we had hard questions. Matt, our conversation about closing an interview was one of the most impactful that I've had while at PrEP and thank you. I'd like to say thank you to Matt Wilson for helping us stay focused and keep the faith that we were, what we were doing was going to make huge changes in our future. You take a lot of panicked calls. Okay, Matt, but it's not happening fast enough. And we're more grateful to you for your guidance than you could ever know. I'd like to thank you, say thank you to Eliza for teaching us about EP, a topic so hard and so confusing that many of us never thought we would have what it took to understand it. And yet Amy's already got an EP job. Thank you so much for taking on something so tough and for doing it with grace and a sense of humor. And thank you for the text, checking in on my stress level, but mostly thank you for being a friend. I'd like to say thank you to Susan for teaching us so much about patient care and hospital procedures. A lot of us have still never gotten to experience these things firsthand, but because you took the time to educate us, we will be able to fall into our roles gracefully. I'd like to say thank you to Kate for being the device genius that we needed. Your online programmer creations were a gigantic help and really taught us a ton about what a device job will demand from us. As a former prep student yourself, you know better than anyone how confusing and overwhelming things seem when you are first seeing them. Thank you for being patient with us and for teaching us so well. And of course, I'd like to say thank you to Greg. Thank you for dealing with my 1,000 questions. Thank you for always being patient with us, even though I'm sure that wears thin. And thank you for keeping us calm and focused. 25 very different personalities all going through an incredibly tough, isolating time has got to be a lot to handle, but you always made it feel like it was okay to speak up. It was okay to ask questions and it was okay to reach out to you. 
thank you basically for being there for us because we really needed it. And finally, I wanna say thank you so much to my homies, my teammates, my crew, the COVID class, winter 2020. 59 days we spent staring at screens for nine hours straight. But guys, we did it. Huge congratulations to those of you who have secured and begun your new jobs. I am so incredibly proud of you. And to those of us waiting in the wings, great things are coming for us. I can feel it. Now, I have a special treat for everyone. Some of you don't know this, but in addition to Mr. Adam Feinstein being a brilliant device specialist, a crazy good guitarist, and an amazing friend, he is also a poet and he has written a little something special for us. So this is Prep MD Poem by Adam Feinstein. After six challenging months of studying hard, we finally made it through. If you ask us how to implant devices, we can tell you what to do. With the help from Greg, Susan, Kate, and Matt, and can't forget EP, and all the guest speakers who spoke to us right here at Prep MD. And of course, we wouldn't be here now without our winter class. We helped each other learn and grow and helped each other pass. But we're different from the other sessions. We did everything online, but it was not ideal for us all, but we knew that we'd be fine. If everything wasn't virtual, there are some things we would have missed. I just want to name a few because of course I can't resist. Who can forget Scott's presentation with the techno music playing in the background while he's showing us the catheter he's displaying? And of course, it goes without saying that we cannot forget everyone here who graciously has shared their beloved pets. Danielle and Lindsay both have dogs while EP has 103 and Brian has cats roaming around for everyone to see. We also had to keep an eye on the Wi-Fi connection, which is sometimes hard to gauge. But if you heard squeaking while at full volume, well, you knew that that was Paige. And now I'd like to give an award for the strongest emoji game to Anthony, whose emojis on Slack have received full critical acclaim. When logging onto webinars, we love to hear from Susan, hoping for that good morning, everybody, that we all find so amusing. And now every time I look outside and gray clouds roll on by, there's a chance that there are raining tacos falling from the sky. There's a lot I've learned about myself, like how all of this reveals that I am now horribly and terribly so terrified of wheels. We've learned that if it quacks like a duck and walks like a duck as well, then it probably most likely is a duck if you can't already tell. We've also learned about grandmas getting lost and purple unicorns too. And for those out there who may not understand, just trust that we sure do. Throughout this program along the way, we've been given helpful tips on how to identify defining features on our rhythm strips. We've covered ablations and mapping systems and delivering some shocks and how to identify some AV nodal blocks. We covered diseases and dysfunctions and looked at EGMs, analyzed some fluoroscopies as well as venograms. We've come quite a way since we've begun that first day of phase one, and now we're here about six months later, completed, set, and done. Even with the obstacle of COVID-19, we've made the best of it, and I'm sure that all 25 of us will get jobs to our best fit. Thank you to all of the faculty. We appreciate you so. We'll all continue to develop, succeed, and thrive, and grow. And thank you to our fellow classmates who've helped us through this time. And thank you to all of Prep MD who has helped me shape this rhyme. <laughs>